Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today I'm thrilled to show you the all new 2019 Integra Cornerstone. Isn't this a gorgeous coach? We're going to go all over all the new enhancements. One of the things I want you to notice is that Integra always uses the best products. So they use Sickens paint and five coats of clear. This is the Phoenix exterior color, which is one of my favorites. I think it looks great. One of the things that I love about Integra is they do this backlighting. So they backlight the Integra name. They've added sea lighting up to your um, lights up top. And then we have the sea lights here. And those are called the accent lights and I like to refer to them as the show off lights. The cornerstone comes standard with the chrome exterior mirrors. These are heated and internally controlled. We also have our marker lights. This is the first of our three blind spot monitoring sensors along the passenger side of the coach. We also have our exterior camera, so when we turn on our blinkers, we can see down the full length of the coach as well. Cornerstone comes with 365 Michelins on the front and 315s on the rear. Now, when I say 365s, I'm talking about the width of the tire. It's getting wider, not getting taller. So that provides you a smoother ride, sort of like sleeping on a softer pillow. It's a bigger pillow, so you get it, you have a softer fill. So the bigger tire gives you a softer, smoother ride. Then we have our 150 gallon fuel tank. This is dual fill, so you can fill it from either side of the coach. In our first storage compartment, we have the optional freezer. So this is the Dometic freezer. Pulls out nice and easy. And you can set the temperature. So you can, if you're gonna do a tailgate party and you just wanna have drinks in here, you can set it just for drinks, or if you want to take ice cream across the country, you can do that as well. So it just flips up, and you have a nice big freezer. We also have the control, the remote control for the Girard awnings is in this compartment as well. Back here we have the HDMI matrix box. Behind door number two, we have our power pass-through tray. So this is a standard item on the cornerstone. So simply hit the button, your tray is going to come out. You can do this on the passenger side and the driver's side. Really comes a long ways out. And then you can see we have our extra folding chairs for our dinette in here as well. Another bonus to these trays are you can just lift them and then Open that flat, so if you have a heavy tool chest or something on here, you can just slide it right off. I want to make sure you notice the X-bracing in the chassis. So this is at least one of 10 X-bracing members. Integra strengthens their chassis with the X-bracing so that it's stronger and your suspension takes the bumps and bruises and beating of the road rather than your house. Here we have our second power pass-through tray. So that works just like the one did before. We've got our tool kit for our central vac and some filters there. And you're probably wondering what um, this magic wand is. Wish it was magic, but this is for your window awning. So it's really easy to use. Just thread it through there. Pull them down. And then you just hook it right there. Here we have our inverter cutoff sw switches. So if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, when you store your coach, you want to make sure that you completely cut off the power to your inverters. And then we've got four circuits inside this panel here that I'll show you in a little bit. You want to make sure those are shut off as well so that you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries. We also have an outlet here for our Dirt Devil vacuum. So you can use that inside the coach and then you can bring it out here, vacuum out your storage bays, and you can also use it for your car. We have two uh, 110 outlets here as well. You have your heater here to heat your storage bay. All right, here we have 
the power disconnects that I talked about earlier. So if you look at your generator, and I push this red button right here, and the little yellow button comes out, that means I've disconnected it. So you've got to turn all of these off, plus your inverter controls off, if you're not storing with National Indoor RV Centers where we keep you plugged into 50 amp service at all times. This is your 12 volt controller, and then this is a manual uh, control for your slide rooms. Here we have our um, fresh, the back side of our fresh water tank. So you can see they've given us a little window into that so we can see what the level is, just visually what the level is. We're gonna have the reading on the inside of the coach from our Vega um, touch. We also have a gravity fill. So you may wanna use this if you wanna disinfect your um, fresh water tank or if you're not near city water and you need to manually fill it, you would do that here. Um, you could also winterize your coach from this point as well. Now, this is a little access panel and you can see your gray and black tanks here. So if you think you might have a leak, this is a place that you could actually look and see if you can see anything visible there. The Cornerstone also comes standard with the passive steer tag axle. I'm not sure if you know, but Spartan Motors has this lock into place when you're up to 45 miles per hour. So that means when you're going through town, 30 miles per hour, your axle is still turning. Now, one way you can tell that that has a passive steer tag axle is that it matches your front axle. All right, here is our DEF tank. That's diesel exhaust flu fluid, so people will call it DEF or DEF. It's a 15 gallon tank and it uses 3%. So if you use 500 gallons of fuel, then you're gonna need to refill your DEF tank. There's a gauge on your digital dash that will tell you your levels as well. So you can kind of keep it in your head when you know that you need to refill, but you're also gonna have that visual reminder from your digital dash. This is also dual fill, so you can do this on the driver's side and the passenger side. Here we have our chassis batteries and our cutoff switches for those. We also have our power control center for the back half of the coach. So if you remove that panel, you can see all those fuses there. We also have your air dryer. This needs to be, there's a filter in there and that needs to be changed once a year. Spartan adds a muffler to your air dryer. So you're not gonna be startled by that big burst of air. Here is your fuel filter and that needs to be changed once a year. Or if you start to notice that your engine isn't performing as well, you might wanna change that. No fuel, no power. And we have the button here for the engine door cover so you don't have to wrestle with that engine door. Now let's talk about the guy's favorite part of the coach, the engine compartment. The Cornerstone sits on the K3 Spartan chassis. It has the ISX 605 horsepower with 19 foot-pounds of torque, and it has the 4000 Allison transmission. It also comes this year with a beefier hitch. So the hitch is two and a half inches, and what does that mean? That means that, first of all, we can tow 20,000 pounds, so you can tow your stacker trailer with two of your Jeeps that you can buy from National Indoor RV Centers and all of your toys, and you're not gonna fill it behind you. All right, here we have our, this is where we can check our engine oil fluid, and this is where we can fill it. We have our coolant here, our engine block heater, so on a cold winter morning, you can just pl simply plug that in right there. Um, if you're needing to use this, you probably need to head to the beach, and I'm not talking about the one in Maine. <laughs> um, we also can check our transmission fluid here. We have our air filter back here, and you need to make sure you change that once a year. We also have, if you can see the foil lined inside the coach, it's fully insulated, so that's gonna keep the heat in the engine compartment and not in your master bathroom. The Cornerstone comes with the safe hall already in place. So this is great if you have an air actuated braking system, you can hook right into this airline here. And here we have our seven way trailer plug. So if you're pulling a trailer, you can hook it in here and you're gonna have turn lights, brake lights, all that on your trailer. All right, they've added an LED light 
for your license plate here. And what's most important about this is that it really nicely shows off national indoor RV centers. I love how they light up Integra in the red on the back end of the coach. Now right above that, you can see the total vision camera. I'm gonna show you more about that when we're inside the coach, but it, that is motorized and you can control that from the dash. Here we have our side radiator. Now by bringing this over to the side of the coach, we have full access to the engine from the rear. There's a few other bonuses to having it here on the side. First of all, instead of using the hot air coming off the engine to cool the radiator, we are gonna bring in ambient air to help cool that. And it, can, it typically takes about 30 horsepower to run the fan, but with this big of an engine, this big of a coach, it's gonna take about 45 horsepower. So if we're not gonna, if we're gonna bring in cooler, cleaner air, it's gonna have to work less hard and we're gonna have more horsepower for going down the road. Another thing you can do to just um, help maintain your coach is occasionally get out the garden hose, just put your thumb over the end of it. Not a power washer, folks, that would, that would do damage, but just garden hose, thumb over it, and just rinse out the fins here on your radiator. Here we have our first of three blind spot monitoring sensors on the driver's side of the coach. And we have our nice little galvanized steel door here that protects our DEF fill on the driver's side of the coach. Passive steer tag axle, second blind spot monitoring sensor. And again, our stainless steel panel here, docking lights, marker lights, and then we go to our door that stores the all important Stinky Slinky. Here's the wet bay on the cornerstone. First and foremost, let's turn on our lights so we can see what we're talking about here. We have our hose reel for our fresh water fill. So we can just release that and then retract. We have our fuel, our, our water filter. This is for our drinking water and for the refrigerator just like you'd have in your house. And this goes down to one micron. This is the water filter for the house. That goes down to five microns. So this is five times more filtered than the whole house. So very good system here. Then we have our sewer rinse, our fresh water connection. This is our hookup to city fill and then our fill for the fresh water tank. Our light, this is the macerator button on and off. And then unlike the Aspire and the Anthem that have manual valves, these are electric on your gray and black tank. We also have our C level two monitoring system. And over here, we have our tool to change that water filter right there. And of course, the nice little shower hose. So we can wash off our feet from the beach or our furry friends or ourselves. <laughs> In front of the panel, we have a place for our soap, paper towels, and you merely just turn this, and then you've got your Thetford SantaCon system here, and the optional manual thumb as well. All right, we have lots of items to cover in here. First of all, we have our 50 amp shore power cord. You can see this is about a 35 foot cord, and we also have the auto reel, so we can just pull that right back in. That's a really nice feature. And then we just, when we, after we hook up, we wanna just slip that right in there so we keep our bay nice and sealed off from any rodents or anything. This is our SureGuard um, transfer switch. So it transfers from shore power to generator power. Then we have our 450 diesel aqua hot here. We have our overflow tank, our fuel filter, that needs to be serviced once a year. And then we have our electronic control panel here. And if this was turned on, we could see what was actually working. So in the coach, you have electric and you have diesel. So if you wanna use electric, you have about a um, little, around about 3000 BTUs. If you wanna use diesel, you have over 50,000 BTUs. So just determine how, what you're using inside the house of the coach. If I'm just washing a few pots and pans, my electric heat's gonna be fine. If I'm ready to take a 15 minute shower, 
then I'm gonna make sure I wanna have my diesel um, aqua hot on so that I don't run out of hot water. This is the exhaust for your diesel aqua hot. Here is the cable connection. Here we have the filter for our Dirt Devil, and we have our power pass through tray that will come through on the driver's side, just like it did on the passenger side. And our second power pass through tray. I'm gonna fully extend this so you can see how far it comes out on both sides of the coach. And here we have just another big storage compartment. Here's our fuel fill for the driver's side of our 150 gallon fuel tank. Here is our docking light, our marker light. This is the last or our third blind spot monitoring sensor on the driver's side of the coach and our camera for the driver's side of the coach. Here we have our power control center for the front half of the coach. So behind this panel, you're gonna have your fuses in case you have any lights go out in the front or say your heater or the um, motion isn't working on your captain's chairs. Those fuses are gonna be right inside here. We have our um, second power uh, 12 volt panel. And these are power points for the chassis battery. I'm gonna go ahead and extend the generator slide, but to do that, I have to have the ignition on. Uh, Integra did that purposefully, so in case kids were out here playing, found this little button to push and then extended the generator and someone could get hurt. So you have to have the ignition on and then hit the button. Here we have our 12.5 kilowatts Onan generator. So you're gonna be able to run everything in the house and not worry a bit about tripping a breaker. If we did blow a breaker, the reset button is right here. Also tells us how many hours are on our generator right here as well. This red wire goes from your generator to this port that actually connects with your house batteries. The white panel right there that says Spartan, if your Hadley air system ever fails, you can manually feel your airbags from right there. And here is our windshield wiper fluid and our electric horn. All right, on this side, we have our air horn. I know you're gonna have a hard time seeing it, just believe me. If not, I'll have you put your head down here and blow the horn. <laughs> okay, we also have our dash AC air condenser fan here. So this is significant because we only have to run hose five feet to cool that Freon up to our dash AC, whereas most manufacturers put it way in the back of the coach, so they have to travel, the Freon has to travel 50 feet, and it's gonna pick up ambient temperature as it comes along, and it's not gonna be as cool. So you're gonna get really nice and cool sitting in those front two captain's chairs. The Cornerstone comes standard with dual pane windows. Also wanna show you how the Girard awnings work with the remote control. So I'm going to get the display to double zeros so that both awnings come out together at the same time. Voila. Now that my awnings are fully extended, I wanna make sure I put on those beautiful LED lights. So I can use my Nebula app and turn the lights on right from my phone. Now that my awnings are out, lights are on, I wanna sit back and relax and watch a little TV. So, here we go. Here is our 40 inch Samsung Smart TV. Not only does it come out and we can tilt, go side to side, we can also tilt it. And it comes with the Bose sound bar. We also have a connector here for a mobile satellite. In case we're covered by trees, we can hook up a little satellite receiver right there. And we have four 110 outlets. There's a few ways that you can get into the cornerstone. The first being by your key fob. Now, there's some great buttons on here. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate them. The first that I like just for safety reasons is they have a panic button. Now, you have to be patient though. You have to push the panic button down and then hold it 
for the alarm to go off. So push it down, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and it will go through a, ser through a series of alarms. So that's nice to have. You also can hit the light button. So as you're walking up to the coach, it will turn on your docking lights, kind of light your way, and then you can hit the unlock button and your porch light's gonna come on. So that's nice. And then if you wanna just lock your coach when you're all done, the lock button. So use your fob, you use your key, or you can use the keyless entry where you can create your own code. So if you wanna let service techs in or family in while you're away, you can give them that code. As I come into the Cornerstone, there's a few great features I wanna point out. First of all, they have really nice grab bars. So as you're coming in or exiting the coach, you have uh, something to hold on to that's nice and firm. Then here, we have the main power cutoff. So I love that that's just right when you get to the coach. You also have the step power. So once you're in the campground, you don't want your steps going in and out and just using that motor needlessly. Um, then you have the step light, which is nice. So you're not gonna fumble or fall. Into, <laughs> as you get into your coach, you can see coming and going. We have our day and night master shade buttons here. And then our awnings, our security lights, our entry light, our entry awning, and our cargo slide out um, lights that you can see under those, and your porch light. It's tons of storage here. Our 32 inch HD smart TV. More storage there. And then here we have our power control center. So this is basically behind this panel are the breakers for everything that you use when you're on either um, using your generator or plugged into shore power. So the power will come into here, it goes down into your two 3000 watt pure sign inverters, passes back through into this box here, and this is everything that you use when you're working off your power that comes from the inverter. Here we have our um, solar panel display, so it's gonna let us know how many amps are coming into the coach. This is our AC override, so in case we ever have a problem with our Vega touch system, we've got overrides here basically for our ACs, so you're not gonna get um, all hot and sweaty. I know that you could get really upset if that's not working, but we have a backup. And we also have a backup for our slides, so we can do these from our Vega touch or from here in the front of the coach. This is our over the air antenna. So we simply are just gonna turn that on and it's gonna raise up and search. So it's locked onto two and that's inside of our building here in Atlanta. Then we have another switch. We can turn on our generator from right here as well. We can do that at the dash through the Vega system and then through the Vega system and then on our app and this control panel. In 2019, they made all the furniture in the coach is made by flex steel. So I'm in this nice, comfortable flex steel seat. And then over here to the right, I have a panel. I wanna go ahead and put out my step cover so that I don't fall into the stairwell or that your furry friends don't fall into the stairwell. Then we've got controls for my shades here. So this, this window is gonna, I'm gonna get really hot if it's a sunny day. So it's nice that I've got a shade here. Shade over the door. And straight in front of me. I also have two USB ports for charging and a nice cup holder. And behind that, I've got two um, 110 outlets. Now the seat's super comfortable. One of the things that um, I want to show you here is it goes forward and backwards and then up and down and then the rear tilt up and down. And then of course our favorite button so we can get really comfortable as we're ready to head down the road. And over here to the right side, I also have the switch for the heated and cooled seats and for lumbar support. I want to show you how you can make your living room just that much bigger. So go ahead and take your uh, co-captain chair and move it all the way forward. Now 
Now there's a lever right in the front of your chair and you're just gonna pull that back and swivel your chair around. And now use your reclining uh, button here, sit back and you've got two extra chairs, two extra recliners in your living room. So two more recliners with foot rests, super nice. So welcome to the beautiful living room. This is the 45F Cornerstone. So this is a new floor plan, um, one that I really like. I'm excited to show you. As we get back into the um, master bathroom area, you can see, I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but you don't step up until you go into your walk-in closet. So it makes it just feel really big. So this is the, um, you can have your sofa here, you've got a hide-a-bed here, and then you've got the theater seating here. So I love this feature. It's really comfortable. And it just keeps on going back and back and back. So now I'm ready for my afternoon nap. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> if only, right? <laughs> But you've got your two cup holders here and a nice storage compartment here with a little tray you can take right out. This is great for remotes and all those things that you're constantly looking for, at least I am. Um, you can keep them right there and always know where they're going to be. I've gone ahead and aired up the mattress that's in the hide bed or in the sofa and I just wanted you to see that you can easily get two full-size adults on this bed and we have a walkway here so if rover needs to make a little midnight visit outside you can easily get by the bed and out the coach this is the cashmere package with the stonewall gray wood i love this finish on the wood i think it's really elegant and pretty um, it's only a 90 percent sheen so it's not a super high gloss but it just looks really elegant and we've got lots of storage all the way along the passenger side here of the coach. And then we have our huge 50 inch 4K HD smart TV. And that's on a televator. So if you wanna be able to see the nice view, we simply just hold that button. And there's our view. Here we're all set up for your direct TV or dish um, satellite receiver. So They've got that a nice big space here and it's ready to go. Then we have our Bose sound bar. And here we have our uh, WineGuard Travelers satellite. Um, that's your HD satellite box. And then this is the PepWave. This is what is going to interface with your app on your cell phone and your Vega Touch. And then you have your Blu-ray player. Moving into the kitchen, notice a beautiful quartz countertop. I just think this is such a pretty, pretty kitchen and very functional as well. So just pull out the island here, gives you some extra counter space. And again, nice full length drawers. You've got your little cutting board here and storage. Another great feature that they've added in 19 is they've given us a um, cover for our cooktop so and a nice place to store it so when you don't need it stick it up there when you do need it it fits nice it has a little edge on it fits right over your induction cooktop and that gives you a, again additional counter space to work whirlpool microwave convection oven and i love that it has this side opening there's no more handle where you're going to have lots of fingerprints across the front of it and believe me, you can cook, you can bake bread in those convection ovens. I have one of my customers actually sent me pictures of a bread rising and then in the convection um, oven and it turned out to be a beautiful loaf of bread. So I know a lot of people are kind of questioning that when they are afraid of losing their oven. These work great. More storage and one of our favorite trays so we can get to the very back of our cabinet. Then we have our sink covers here with the cutting boards on the back. Integra is always really good about giving us that. And they break them into smaller um, pieces because the quartz is a little bit heavier than our solid surface. They give us a nice place to store those when we're not using them. 
Okay, hold on. <laughs> there we go. And then you can get to your nice stainless steel sink. You've got a little container here for your scrubbers or brushes, whatever you need. Another nice big drawer here. And we've got the dishwasher. So we've got the little caddy for our utensils. You can easily get 10 or more plates in there, room for glasses and all your little um, kitchen tools. Great compartment here that I showed for the sink covers, but you also have your trash can there and a little extra storage behind that. More cabinet space, more storage. And then another favorite of mine, of course, is the spice cabinet. It just makes so much sense to use that space wisely. You can get tons of spices in there. All right, moving to, into our dining area, we have the freestanding table with the chairs. Again, a nice little buffet there that we can put food up on or we can work with some workspace. And I really love the fabric that they put on these chairs. Isn't that beautiful? And we have great storage drawers. And we have a little pull out here. If we want to put a printer on there, or we can store more pots and pans over here. Now they've done a really cool job here to give you a little extra length on the table. This just pulls out and pops up. And we still have the extra length that we get when we pull the whole tabletop out. We have two extra folding chairs that goes, comes with this as well. And then we have three cabinets above here. Nice amount of storage, again, with no barrier in between. So you can fit a lot of your items up there. Of course, the cornerstone would come with a huge residential refrigerator. So you've got the water and ice in the front door here. We have a nice locking mechanism here. So you don't have to worry about unless you forget <laughs> losing every, spilling everything out from your refrigerator while you're travel mode. Make sure you put that on your checklist. And great freezer. The 45F comes with a nice pantry with something that we've all been asking for. Voila, pull out pantry shelves. Isn't that nice? Love those. So those just pull out, you push them in and they lock in place. Didn't want to miss the dustpan. This is one of my favorite features just because I would love to have one in my house. I'm a little jealous. So you just hit it there. You know, it keeps me from bending down and using a dustpan, so I love that. <laughs> and then we have our central vac as well. Right here is where we can plug in and we have a 25 foot hose so we can get to the front and the back of this coach. Here's our half bath in the 44, 45F. So we've got a lot of space in here. Again, the beautiful quartz countertop, storage below. And a nice big medicine cabinet above. I love that they've used this space so wisely. And then behind this panel, we have one of our 12 volt control panels. Again, we have our power window shade, shade and day shade, push button toilet, which is a macerated toilet. The 2019 Cornerstone now includes the Nebula Vega Touch. So that gives us access to an app that you can download to your phone for only $15. It's been $100 in the past, and you can pretty much do every function from your phone that you can from your pad here. So I've already downloaded the app, and I, I love also that on the phone, I can push the little um, uh, letter A here and it's gonna label what all my buttons are for in case I can't remember. And we also have the question marks just like we do on the pad that's gonna help me if I have any questions. So I'm just gonna show you a basic function here. But I'm gonna go to my lights. I'm, I wanna turn off all the interior lights. So I'm just gonna slide that over and turn it back on. Nice and easy. Just one of the many features that you can do from your phone. 
Okay, I wanna go over the new and improved Vega Touch. Just like every other piece of software that you, you know, computer or whatever, it's constantly being upgraded. Well, so is the Vega Touch. So nice feature is here we've got the display in the time of day, but say you are ready to go to bed and you don't want this display anymore, just hit the blackout button, that's gonna all go away. When you need to get back and work on your Vega Touch, it's gonna go to the main home screen here. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through this panel. First thing it shows us is a fresh tank warning. That's letting us know that our fresh tank is empty. We need to get some water in there, so it's just a warning. Then we're gonna go, and then back to our tanks we have, it will tell us what's in our fresh gray and black. Our interior and exterior lights, so we can turn those all on or all off. We can also do individual settings. So if I want to you know, create my own theater mode and dim all the lights, I could do that and then hold the set one button and then every time I hit the set one, it would go to that theater, theater mode setting. All right, then we have the same master control here for our day shades and our night shades. And then it's gonna tell, tell us what kind of AC or what kind of power we're pulling. We're hooked up to shore power right now and it will give us our chassis battery level and our DC house level. And our automatic gen start is off right now and our inverter is off right now. If we want to turn our generator on, we can do that right here. We also tells us we can turn on our water pump, our engine preheat, and we can use our diesel heat or our electric heat. Then we can go through each button. It's also telling us the temperature across the top of the coach here. We can go to our light setting. So now we can go individual light settings. So I just turned off the whole living room area. Turn that back on. Control mode will actually show me each light and I can go to that light and change the brightness or turn it all the way off. And then you can save those settings back on your set one, set two, set three, like I showed you in the beginning. We can do the same thing with our shades. So this is in basic mode. So I can put the day shades all the way up or all the way down or night, day or night shades all the way up or down. Or I can go to control mode where I can operate that shade individually. Exterior lights, so you can adjust those manually, turn them on and off, or we can go to our awnings. Okay, you're always gonna get that warning just to make sure it's safe to take those out. And then you can see where we can extend them, retract them, all from right here, and our slide rooms as well. Here we have the temperature control for the coach. So we have the living room, kitchen, bedroom, and storage bay. So if I wanted to decrease the temperature, I just simply hook it like that or take it back up. And what if I just want to make the whole coach the same? Then I want to go up to the top right, cor the, uh, top right hand corner there, hit that, and it will sink all. All right, so we all also can control our max air vents right here. So if I want to turn on the kitchen, max air vent, you can hear it going up. Now, if I want to control the level of the fan, I just hold it. And now I can go high, medium, low. And I can even set a timer on it as well. Or I can set the temperature when, if the coach gets you know above 80, then I want the max air vent to come on and start to cool the coach a little bit. And I can decide if I want that, uh, the cover to be up or down all from this screen here. All right, so I love that there. this is so user-friendly that I can just, if I don't remember what one of the buttons is for, I hit the question mark. And then since we're on the, I'm gonna go ahead and hit. Okay, so now it's gonna help me. So it's climate control. It's gonna tell me how to sync the zones, the arrows to go up and down, tap to toggle the floor heat, it's gonna walk me through that whole panel, which is just so nice. I don't have to worry about it. So now we are gonna to go to AV, so I can control my TVs from here, turn them on and off. Still have some of my other controls available to me as well. So on this screen, we, have a, we can do the AV, the kitchen, the fans. We also can unlock and lock the entry door or the cargo bays right here. Also, we have a edit home. So if there is a function here that I wanna to add to my home screen, then I would 
push that button and add that to the home screen. Settings, so here you can adjust your display. You can see what software version that you have. So if you're having some problems, need some help, right here is where you see what version you have. Your sleep settings, you can um, pick which, you know, how long you want this to sleep. Users, images, and pairing. So one of the, another great feature is that you can download the app to your phone and you can pretty much do everything that you can do on your Vega Touch right from your phone. As we go into the master bedroom, I've always loved the glass inserts here in the door, but they've gone to a solid door here, beautiful paneling. I just think it's gorgeous. So wanted to make sure you saw that before we went into the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom, look at this gorgeous bed. Looks like I'm at a luxurious hotel. I just think it's so pretty. Um, lots of gorgeous pillows on the valances. They've tapered them, so that's really nice. I love the fabric that they've used here. And then this is great, nice deep storage overhead here. As always, we have the control for our uh, ceiling fan here. And we have the bedroom ceiling, uh, overhead bed lights, the bedroom accent lights, the motion lights, courtesy lights, the panel lights. If that panel from the Vega Touch is too bright, we can turn it off right from here. Our master day and night shades, and we can lock the entry door, so that's always nice. Can't tell you how many times I've gone to bed and then I think, did I lock the door? So you can just hit that button right here and you're done. We also have the sleep number mattress. So sleep number, and then we have great storage underneath our bed. And on each side by our little uh, nightstands, we have the two USB ports on each side and 110 outlets on each side. Behind our Samsung 32 inch uh, HD smart TV, we have our safe, our extra Blu-ray player and more storage area. We have our Bose soundbar for our bedroom. And then look at all of these great drawers, nice and deep. More drawers. I won't open them all, but you can see how, how much storage space you have in there. They've made the return then super easy to change this year, so you can just pop them out. No screwdrivers needed or anything like that. Take the filter, go and wash it off, dry it off, and then you just put it back on there and pop it right back into place. Here's our multiplex lighting system here, so we can uh, when you see a light that has the arrows, that means that they're dimmable. So if I kind of want to soften up the lighting in the bedroom, I just press that and hold, and they're gonna go a little bit lighter. Let me do the vanity lights. So, and then if you want to take it back to full lights, you just go to your master light switch and hold the on button, and it will bring it back to full brightness. Here we are in the great bathroom of the 45F. So this is one of the things that I really like about this floor plan is that you go straight from your bedroom. There's no step up here. So it makes it feel really big and spacious. Another reason it feels so big and spacious is because your vanity is on a slide. So that's gonna come in, obviously when the slides are in, but that gives you about 18 more inches when that is extended. So. Here we have our beautiful quartz countertops again, and the, these are new sinks for 2019 that I think are super pretty. And then we have our wonderful medicine cabinets. So that just gives us tons of extra space. One of the best things that Integra ever did was listen to their customers where they asked for the medicine cabinets, they delivered, and I think it's a huge selling point for the cornerstone. You also have your little slip drawers here. 
full extension drawer here. So I've seen a lot of my customers put all their medicines and stuff in this top drawer, label the top of the medicine um, container. And look at all that space. You definitely don't feel like you're in a small RV by any stretch of the imagination. And we have the gorgeous porcelain tile floor. We have our toilet here, push button. It's a macerator as well. They've thought of giving us spots for our towels to hang. And then we have this great big shower and we've got towel racks on both sides of the glass. So we have places to put our towels. Love that. Look at this gorgeous shower and how roomy it is. So not only do we have the beautiful um, tile on the walls and the decorative accent here, we have a spot for our shampoos, which is always nice. And then we have the handheld faucet as well. Just very nice, plenty of room, plenty of room. When I walked into the bathroom, I noticed a small hole in the wall here and that is a glass break sensor. So that's part of your security system. If someone breaks your glass, that's one of the sensors that will turn on your alarm. Voila! I know you probably get tired of me saying my favorite part, my favorite part, but for real, this is my favorite part of the 45F. So it has the walk-in closet. So we go from this roomy, luxurious master bathroom into my master closet, which I think is just gives us tons of storage. I feel like I'm back home. Actually, it's probably bigger than my closet at home. So we have great storage here with adjustable shelves, three drawers that are nice and deep. Then of course we have the cedar line closet that we always get in the cornerstone. And we have a compartment here for our shoes. And this goes a full length of the back of the coach and then we have our washer and dryer. I love that this is back here in my closet because I'm just going to do my laundry and I'm going to hang it right up so I don't even have to take it out and throw it on the bed. I can do my laundry right here, fold it and put it away or hang it up. Now another little um, hint that I want to give you um, about the washer and dryer, mainly just the washer. I don't know about you but in my home I have a bathroom that's downstairs that doesn't get used very often. Um, at least the shower doesn't get used. So occasionally, probably every three or four months, I'll go into that bathroom and there's just kind of a horrible smell. And I know exactly what's happened. The water in the P-trap has evaporated and now all those sewer fumes are kind of coming into the bathroom. So all I have to do is turn on the water, let it run for a couple minutes, turn it off, and the, the smell's gone. The same thing can happen in your coach. So if you've been, you know, your coach has been in storage for a couple of months and the water in the P-trap has evaporated, you come back into your coach or if you haven't used your washing machine in a couple of months because it's been in storage or you just don't use it, you have no water in that P-trap and you're gonna get sewer fumes into your coach and it smells awful. People think they have a leaky toilet or something else is wrong, but all you have to do is get a gallon of water, open up your washing machine, pour that in there, put it on the last rinse cycle, and the problem will be gone. Water will be back in that P-trap and the smell is gone. All right, I wanted to make sure I showed you the um, 45F with the slides in. So you can see that I can easily walk between the theater seats and the sofa then I get lots of room when I get into the kitchen area. I could easily be prepping for dinner or whatever. And then I can also get to the refrigerator, the Vega touch pad, the refrigerator, the pantry, and of course the all important half bathroom. Let's discuss the two ways that you can level the cornerstone. So you have your hydraulic leveling jacks, that are automatic and you also have the Hadley air system. So we're gonna go over the Hadley air system right now. So say you're going into a gas station and you need a little more clearance. So you might wanna raise the coach. You can simply come over to the Hadley air, press the raise button, hold it. You're gonna see a green light 
and you can actually raise the coach about three inches. Now once you've gotten in and you're okay, you always wanna go back to your standard ride height. So this is your standard height ride height button right here. So we're gonna click that now. You can hear the air releasing. Now a lot of people, when they buy their coach, they've already built their storage garage. Um, if we're not lucky enough to have them as customers and they've got their own storage unit, then sometimes they didn't plan for their 45 foot coach or the height of this 45 foot coach. So going into the garage, it gets a little tight. So you may need to lower your coach. Now when you do that, you wanna make sure A, that your tires are straight because you're gonna bring that house down, you know, in the, around your tires. But if you need to do that, you can simply hit the lower button. Hold that and you can hear, again, hear the air releasing. Once you're done with that, again, always return back to your standard ride height. Now, say you're going to stay in a Walmart camping ground or a Walmart parking lot, I guess we shouldn't call that a campground, <laughs> uh, overnight and you don't want to put down your hydraulic jacks, you just want to do air leveling. So you're going to want to search for a level surface. So that's what the SLS button is for. So you're going to press that button and you'll see green arrows that come up vertically and horizontally. Now those are, those are telling us green, green's always good. Green is that most likely you will be able to level in that location. If the arrows show up and they're yellow, then it's a little iffy. If it's red, then you're not gonna be able to level in that location. So once you push the searching level surface button and you've got the green arrows, you know that you can level there, then you wanna hit the set button so that it will go ahead and level. Once you have solid green arrows, vertically and horizontal, you're level, and you can go ahead and turn off your engine to lock the valve. Uh, I explained this before like a balloon. So we always blow up a balloon, we tie the knot, and then no air is supposed to escape, right? That's not actually how it works. We all know that over time, the balloon will deflate just a little bit. Same thing will happen with our airbags. So in 2019, they've added the auxiliary air compressor to the coach. So it will automatically keep air in the air tanks to supply air to your airbags. So it's a great feature and you don't have to have the engine on. So it will do that automatically for you. Here we have our internal controls for our flat mirrors. Adjust those as needed. We have our battery boost button. So that's if you come back to your coach and your batteries are dead, you wanna tie your house batteries to your chassis batteries and get enough of a charge that you can then start your generator so that it can start to charge your batteries. We have our uh, house battery cutoff switch right here, which is nice to have, but there's been some problems. Occasionally we have our little furry friends running across here and they could actually um, accidentally hit that button and kill the power to the house. So there's actually a little pet safe cover that you can cover so that you don't have to worry about that ever happening. Then we have our pedal slide controls. So you can just extend those or retract them so that it's nice and comfortable when you're driving that your foot's not dangling or too close or too far away. All right, here's your tag dump uh, control button. Now typically that's always in auto and usually you don't really need to use that unless you're gonna make a really tight U-turn. Now remember, the cornerstone comes standard with the passive steer tag, so that's not really a problem. The only time that you're gonna need this is if you wanna move all the weight to your drive axle, saying like you're, you know, if you're stuck in mud. Next thing we're moving on to is the engine compression brake controls. So I like these because you can easily find them. I can be driving down the road, wanna have my, make sure my uh, engine compression brake is on, and I can find it without looking down. The Cornerstone comes equipped with the 605 horsepower. So this is great. We're in the mountains and we've got 605 horses pushing us up that mountain. But now if we wanna have 605 horsepower pulling us back as we go down the mountain, we wanna make sure that our engine brake is on high. So we have the controls for our shade, driver's side and front and our passenger side. 
as well. We have our cup holder here. When I turn on the headlights, I'm gonna illuminate that, which is really nice. The headlights are here, and our marker lights, our fog lights, our accent lights, so those are our, what I call our C lights, or our show off lights, docking lights, and then our map lights. Our map lights have an on, off, and an auto. When you have it in auto mode, your lights are gonna automatically turn on when your door is open. And here we have our equalizer system, which is our hydraulic leveling system. So you just hit the power there. You can auto level, go front, right, rear, or left, or retract all. And we have two USB ports right here at the dash. All right, one of the new features for 2019 is that we don't have a key anymore. We have a keyless ignition. Now this does need to be in the proximity of the dash or it will not work. So I'm gonna set those right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the coach. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, push the button once, I'm gonna wait to start here, and then that, once that goes away, push and hold. So I wanna cover the features on the steering wheel. First of all, we have a lever over here to our left that we just lift, and then we can put that in a posi po position that is comfortable for us while we're driving down the road. We have toggle switches here to the side that work on the radio and then the source, so the different options on your menu, and then you have volume and channels that you can change here. We have our headlights and our courtesy lights. We're gonna use this headlight just when we, when we have a trucker passing us and we wanna let him know that it's safe for him to come over into our lane, we're just gonna flash that headlight one time and then he'll go ahead and go in front of us Typically, they'll usually flash their courtesy lights or marker lights three times to say thank you. So if we're passing a trucker and he's let us know that it's safe to then pull in front of him, we would do the same. These are our courtesy lights and I would flash those three times to say thank you. We also have our cruise control. So when I'm heading out for a trip, or really any time that I need to air up the coach, I typically wanna do it a little quicker so I'll go into the high idle mode. You do that by hitting your cruise control on and then hitting your set button. The green light's gonna illuminate here and now you're in the high idle and you can see our RPMs going up. Over here we have our windshield wiper controls so I can merely just turn them on, turn them off. There's a high low button, and then there's an in intermittent button where I can set uh, the timing for the windshield wipers. So if I want them to go fairly quick, I can just hit the button. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. And so on. This is our Allison 4000 transmission. So we merely can just go from reverse, neutral, drive, back to neutral. We can also hit our mode button and that's gonna put us in economy mode. So that actually does help you save um, on your fuel economy. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my brake on and then release the parking brake. So now we can see that it says the transmission is in neutral, parking brake is off, and I'm gonna go over and hit my up and down arrow at the same time. And it's gonna tell me that my transmission oil level is okay. Now it could tell me, you don't wanna do, you don't wanna check this until you've been driving for a while, at least a half an hour. So I could pick this and it would say transmission level is um, low one which would mean it's one quote, one quart low, or transmission oil level two, low two, two quarts low. Or it could tell me transmission oil level is high, which would mean it's one quart high. If I push the arrows up and down again, 
It's gonna tell me my oil life is 99%. My filters are okay. Trans health is okay, which means our clutches are okay. And then there's no warning codes. And then we're back to neutral. Now, if I put this in drive, it's gonna show me that there are six, six, six gears were in gear one, but say I'm going down a mountain and I wanna only go to five gears, then I would just hit my button up to five. Now I can only go up to fifth gear. Here we have our AC and heat controls for the front dash area. We have our USB port and HDMI port. So everything that's fed into here will come through your radio. So if you wanna hook up an HDMI here, it will go through your radio and then you can throw something up here on your TV screens. We have a 12 volt bolt here. And then this is our total vision um, remote control video camera. So we're going to look at the different views that will show us. So right now we're looking at the rear view. If we go to hitch view, it's gonna look down to our hitch, go back to, up to rear view, and then I can kind of pan around my rear area there. So left to right, putting in the windshield here. <laughs> or up and down as well. And then once, if I just wanna go back to my rear view picture, I just hit that single button, nice and easy. Then we have our illuminated cup holders here, a little spot for our keys or whatever, and then a nice little storage tray. I'm really excited to show you probably the most significant change for 2019, the digital dash. So this is your main screen. We're gonna show, I'm just gonna walk you through it. So it's gonna show engine temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, and our fuel levels. These are all green. Green is good, That's we like that. This is gonna show that I've got cruise control on right here. So I can cancel that and it goes away. We also have our miles per hour. We're not moving, so that's good. And then our RPM. So if I wanted to air up quickly, I can put this into the high idle mode by turning on my cruise control and hitting the set button. I'm in high idle and you can see my RPMs going up. Now you see this N in a circle. We are in neutral. So if I go ahead and put us in drive, that's gonna change to a D or reverse. Here we have our air tank levels, which are green as well, our battery level, and this is our DEF level. level. So everything is green, that's all good. Now it's gonna show what source we're at on our screen over there, we're on the radio. We're heading north, it's 82 degrees outside and it's 12.56 p.m. Going this way, where this EC is, earlier I showed you um, that we were plugged into the shore cord. So any warnings are gonna come up on this screen right here. Then we have our odometer and our trip information. So right now we have 822 miles on the coach from trip one, and this would tell us how many miles we have left to go on our fuel tank, but it's not reading it because we've been sitting here a little bit too long and we're getting about seven miles per gallon. So if I wanna go ahead and switch out my trip information, I'm gonna turn my dial and I'm gonna press it once to go to trip two. Now I'm gonna press to switch and hold to reset. So I'm gonna hold the center dial button in. And I've reset that to zero. So now when I go back, we're ready to see how far, how many miles we're gonna go on trip two. We're just gonna go across the top of the panel here. First of all, the P obviously means that we are in park. And then we have our green lights, which means that my lights are on. If I go ahead and turn those off, that's gonna go away. The yellow indicator is your blind spot monitoring 
uh, indicator saying that you've got something in your blind spot on the right hand side of the coach. If I had something on my blind spot on the left side, I would have an indicator over here on the left hand side, the top of the panel. Okay, now I want to show you a little bit about the tire pressure monitoring system. So you're seeing some of the tires, not all of them are showing up right now. That's because we're not moving. The little indicator inside these tires has actually gone to sleep to kind of protect the battery. So once we get rolling, uh, we will get a tire pressure indicator from all of these tires. So you're seeing the PSI for the tires. And then if you want to see Fahrenheit, I just press the button and we get the Fahrenheit reading. This is just like your gauge gauges. So green means good. You're good to go. If they're yellow, that means caution. If they're going red, then you better stop. Something's, something's wrong. All right, we're gonna go to the next screen here. I'm gonna select this screen. Now, if I want to just scroll through it, I can see all the information that it's gonna give me. All right, now I'm at a scan. This is just like your radio, works the same way where you can scan through the channels. This will, if I choose this, it will scan through all that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And now it's just gonna automatically scan through all that information for me. If I wanna just have one thing, if I just wanna see my engine torque all the time, I can select that and just have that remain on the screen as well. So messages, this is pretty self-explanatory, just like the short cord. It would tell me here that I was plugged in. Anything that I needed to know that's important, it will show up here. Brightness, this is where I can determine the brightness of my screen and my transmission. So I'm just gonna select that and then I'm gonna turn the knob and as I turn the knob, you'll see the brightness decrease. Once I get it to the level where I want it, I want it nice and bright. We'll do 90%. I'm gonna go ahead and push the tab in. Well, actually, we'll just go up to 100. I'm gonna push the tab in and that's set. Okay, settings has another sub menu. So I'm gonna select this and we'll kind of go through some of those other sub menu items. I'm gonna scroll up to the very top here and go to TPMS, our tire pressure monitoring system, and I'm gonna select that. And now we've got a lot of information about all of our tires. So it's gonna show their location, front left, front right, et cetera, our pressure and our temperature. It's asking me, do we have a towable connected? No, I'm gonna change that to yes. And now I've got a tow vehicle with two wheels. So I'm towing a trailer of some sort here. Now let's change the tow type to four wheels, so trailer with four wheels, or I can go to six wheels, or I can go to a vehicle. National Indoor RV Centers is qualified. We have the right tools and software to install the sensors in your tow vehicle. This is a feature you're gonna love. So we're in nav zoom. Now to make this work, we've got to have our foot on the brake and we've got to have our, our park brake released. Now, like I told you before, this is the area that you're gonna have warnings. So the transmission is in neutral and the park brake is off. So I've got my foot on the brake. Now I'm gonna select the nav zoom. So now we've got the navigation screen up right on our screen right in front of us. So this is really handy. Now I'm gonna select the pages button. And we have zoom one, or I can go to zoom two, or zoom three, even more even more blown up for me. All right, now we're gonna go to sound volume. This is a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna select it. And now you're gonna have warning sounds. Uh, you heard it earlier with the shore cord when we were still plugged in. I'm gonna turn on my, si my turn signal. It's very faint, so I wanna turn that up. So I can make that, let's put it all the way up to 100. Isn't that nice? So you can select the level of sound um, or volume of the sound for your warnings, for your turn signals. 
So that's going to be the same for any kind of warning and uh, sound associated with that. You can select the level of volume. Okay, from sound volume, we're going to go to units. So units is where you can change everything from American to metric. So let's go to speed and distance. When I select the button here, you can see how it goes from miles to kilometers. This is a big deal for anyone that's traveling into Canada so that all they're posting their, their uh, speed signs are going to be in kilometers. This makes it super easy for you as you travel out of the United States. We can go to service reminders. Service reminder is not enabled. This is because you really need to kind of monitor that yourself. You need to change your oil uh, every 15,000 miles or once a year. Now we'll go to screen position. This is rotate knob to adjust screen position. So as I rotate my knob, I can move the screen up or down. So short or tall, just depending on where you like that to be, very easy to adjust. Diagnostics, this screen is really more for your service technicians, but let's go to J1939 info, click that. This is giving us all the information from our engine. Again, I think this will probably be more meaningful to your tech, uh, but you've got a lot of information here right at your fingertips. All right, let's take this one for a ride. So as we come up on this next turn, I'm going to turn on my turn signal. You'll be able to see down the full length of the right side of the coach. And just talking about turning point, your, t your tires are behind you on the Class A diesel. So it's a natural feeling, but you're going to not start your turn until you're at the middle of that front axle. So you're going to put your nose way out, which feels different than it feels when you're in a car because in a car, your tires are in front of you. So I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna keep going out and out until my front axle is at that turn. And then I'm gonna take a tart, sharp turn and I'll be watching my tires in that convex lower mirror the whole time so I can make sure I don't clip the curb. A great feature is that we can throw the navigation screen up on our overhead TV. So it's not something the driver's gonna look at because that would take my eyes off the road, but really great for the co-captain and for any travelers in the back of the coach. So another new feature with the digital dash is that I can put my nav system right here on my dashboard. So I can see that, still have my miles per hour here. And uh, that's just really handy for the driver. And all I had to do was just touch my pages button over here on my digital dash dial. So I'm on the freeway now. I'm gonna go ahead and get up to about 70 miles per hour. And I'm gonna set my cruise control at that point and we will be good to go. I set it at 61, but since he's slowing down, it's slowing down. So right now you can see the truck in front of me has slowed down, so my speed has slowed down as well. Now the safe following distance that they've set with the collision mitigation system is 3.6 seconds. I can adjust that now. That's a great feature so I can make it medium or low, or I can disable the collision mitigation system altogether. All right, just a little um, tip for Manj. Um, <laughs> probably shouldn't be following the truck that I'm following right now. A big gravel or dump truck, probably not the best idea. You've got this beautiful windshield in front of you. You wanna protect it. So if you do have to be behind a truck like that, you really wanna keep your distance as far back as possible. Another great feature that's on the cornerstone is the blind spot monitoring. So as you can see, as cars come up on my left side, I get a, a little light of yellow cars, basically in my side view mirror, kind of giving me that alert that I've got something over to the side. That will do that on both, um, in both of my mirrors to just give me a little alert. Let me know that there's something there. They've really thought of everything to make this as easy to drive um, without it self-driving. That'd be a little scary. <laughs> All right, so something that you wanna think about when you're driving, when you first start driving a big class A, you feel A, like you're not gonna fit in the lane. Well, obviously you do, um, but you also want to learn to hug the left lane. So not always be in the left lane, that's not what I'm saying, but hug the left lane, because everything bad happens on the right side. Road debris, you know, cars that are pulled over, street signs, whatever. 
just always hug the left, the left line, let's call it that way. Now, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Integra has the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. So right now we've got the engine going, obviously. I'm, I'm driving about 60 miles per hour. The generator's running and all three ACs. And our decibel reading is at the reading of a luxury car. The longer you drive, the more comfortable you, you get driving the big class A's. So, and Integra's made it so easy with the collision mitigation, the adaptive cruise control, the blind spot monitoring. You just have to sit back here and then enjoy the beautiful movie screen in front of you because we have such a gorgeous country and you're lucky enough to get to see it all in this wonderful coach. I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of the beautiful 2019 Cornerstone 45F. Now, so many of these things come standard in this coach. Heated floors, two inverters, a 605 horsepower engine, um, I can keep listing these things and you're probably wondering how much does this coach cost? So Integra has asked us to only share MSRP, which is manufacturer's suggested retail price, which is $743,370. And we can also share manufacturer's minimum advertised price, map pricing, which is $557,528. So if you want to know what NIRVC will sell you this coach for, give us a call or come visit us at one of our three locations. We're in Dallas, Atlanta, Phoenix, and by this fall, we'll be in Las Vegas. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and feel free to comment.